Just like every year, Victorinox is bringing us a new edition of the Alox limited edition series, this time in the color Electric Yellow. We realize we are a little late with this video, but we still hope we can present a good compilation of all the features and oddities of this set. So if you want to find out more, join us on the journey. Those of you who have been following our channel for quite a while now know that we are quite critical of the packaging of the annual Alox Limited Edition. Nothing has changed here compared to last year. We still get very simple cardboard that looks cheap and makes it difficult to take the night out of the packaging. I have read in some comments that the cardboard is a real improvement in terms of the environment and that the criticism is therefore not justified. There are two arguments from my side. Firstly, I don't think that a lot of this packaging will end up in the trash as these are collector's items. And secondly, it is entirely possible to design an attractive packaging out of cardboard. A good example of this is the Cadet Winter Magic Limited Edition 2023, which has very attractive packaging. You can find the link to our review of this knife in the description. Ok, so let's take a look at the Alox Classic first. Personally, I'm not a big fan of these really small knives. However, the size seems to be very popular. Victorinox recently launched the Alox Classic Color series with very beautiful colors, which, as we hear, is selling very well. We will be publishing a review of the series soon. The color suits the small knife well. The workmanship of the handle scales and rivets is perfect and the application of the ear looks really good. The Classic is also equipped with a nail file, an accessory that I personally wouldn't necessarily need. But I can imagine it being useful for some people. The nail cleaner at the tip of the file can also be used as a screwdriver, which I really appreciate. As always, this knife also comes with a blade, although in the case of the Classic, it is of course very small. But that doesn't change the fact that it is excellently manufactured and has the usual Victorinox sharpness. Perfect for a little cut from time to time. The most useful tool for me with the Alox Classic is the scissors. I'll show you why that is. Just to show you how incredibly good Victorinox scissors are, I'll show you an attempt to cut through a piece of paracord that I even have in a matching color. A really good performance for a really small pair of scissors. Other manufacturers cannot keep up here. This performance is of course a result of decades of experience in tool manufacturing. As with most Victorinox knives, a keyring is installed. And I think with this little knife, this makes perfect sense. Now let's compare the electric yellow color from this set with two other colors from the classic color series. Oh yes, and don't forget, you can of course also find this set in the catalog of our Chipmunk Suck web app. In the future you will have the opportunity to manage your own Victorinox collection using this app. So check it out, you can find a lot of limited editions there and it's free. You can find the link in the comments of this video. Now let's move on to the Pioneer X. For the third year in a row, we are now getting a Pioneer X in the limited edition set instead of the Pioneer of the previous years. I like the Pioneer X quite a lot. The additional scissors greatly increase the usefulness of this knife. Of course, the usual certificate can also be found here. There is no difference to the previous editions except for the year. The 
Pioneer X in the color electric yellow is a real eye catcher. Like the classic, the workmanship of the handles and the rivets is flawless. There are no complaints here. If we look at the selection of tools installed on this knife, there are no surprises. Of course, we also have a main blade here that is 70mm long and comes very sharp from the factory, as we are used to. The edge retention is average, but Victorinox knives are known to be very easy to sharpen. Also included is the Rima. In my opinion a very useful tool, especially when it comes to drilling holes in soft wood or, for example, applying a hole in a piece of leather. I'm not sure why a keyring is installed. With knives of this size it's actually unnecessary. Who attaches a knife with a length of 93mm to a keychain? And of course the opening layer is included which can be found on almost all Victorinox knives. In addition to the can and bottle opener we get screwdrivers in two different sizes and a wire stripper. I won't go into any more detail about the scissors, we've already discussed this with the classic and you know how good they are. Ok, now to the big boy of the set. In my opinion the Hunter Pro is not a classic Victorinox pocket knife uh, as we know it. As a folder with a lockable blade that has replaced the cadet of the old sets, it is met with different opinions among collectors. Not everyone is happy with the decision to include the Hunter Pro in this ALOX annual sets. To be honest, I like the Hunter Pros, especially the ones with the ALOX handle scales. The design of this model really appeals to me. I like its almost futuristic look and the shape of the blade. Compared to the other knives in this set, it's actually quite large. When opened, it has a total length of 233mm, with 98mm being the blade. Also, compared to the other knives in this set, it's not a lightweight either. It weighs 175 grams. And, important for our German friends, this knife complies with section 42 of the Deutsche Waffengesetz, so you can also carry it in Germany. Speaking of carrying it around, the Hunter Pro comes with a beautiful lanyard in a matching color. The lanyard can be attached to the designated lanyard hole, which is integrated directly into the base layer. The color of the handle scales looks very good and the structure of the anodized surface ensures that you can hold the knife securely and without slipping. However, I'm not sure whether this handle shape is suitable for long periods of work. At least without gloves, I don't imagine it being too comfortable. But at the end of the day, this is a collector's knife and should be evaluated as such. The blade is stable and sharp and also looks very nice but I wouldn't use it to pattern with it. Also, the locking mechanism works reliably. There's no risk of the blade folding in during work and injuring yourself. All in all, the Hunter Pro Limited Edition 2023 is a very nice piece of tech that I can definitely recommend to those who can afford it. Now let's talk about the pricing of this set. I think this set is way too expensive. This year in particular the price increase was significant compared to last year. Don't get me wrong, I'm a really passionate Victorinox fan, but I can't understand why they are charging a lot of money for this set. Honestly, how much research and development still needs to be invested in this set? How much design work is necessary? All Victorinox has to do is apply a new color and change the year on the imprint and on the certificate. The example of this year's winter magic shows that Victorinox knows how to do it. A spectacular design and exceptional structure on the handle scales, very attractive packaging. 
And that's why I wonder why the annual Alox limited edition set seems so very bland. Are we collectors Victorinox milking cow here? But on the other hand, the set doesn't seem to be selling badly. And I also bought the set again, even though I had doubts about it last year. So please Victorinox, if you are asking for so much money, then at least give us a sensible packaging, a serial number on the knife and a certificate that deserves the name. Because that is what most collectors want and it is precisely these collectors who carry on Victorinox's excellent reputation. When it comes to production numbers, we no longer have any reliable information since 2021. But I would estimate that between 15,000 and 20,000 of these sets were made this year. If you have more information about this, I would be very grateful if you would share it in the comment section. Thank you very much. Now, what is my final opinion on this set? What stands out for me is the uncompromising quality of each of the three knives in this set. You can tell that Victorinox has been building pocket knives for what feels like forever. The lifetime guarantee on this product speaks for itself. I think the choice of color this year was successful. Electric yellow looks good and we haven't had this color yet. What I find less nice is the price of the set, which I think is absolutely excessive. And I don't give up hope that the quality of the packaging will improve again and be more suitable for a collector's knife. What do you think about that? Did you buy this set? Do you agree with me about the price? We would be happy if you shared your opinion here. As always, every new subscription and every thumbs up is more than welcome. Otherwise, I wish you a nice weekend. See you next Sunday at the next knife presentation on this channel. Bye bye.